Hi everyone, this is Ola and I know it's been a while since the last tutorial but been very busy over the new year and I hope you had a good one. But uh let's get on with this this tutorial is brought to you by hillfreeforum.com and zolamedia.com which is my site. Okay, uh just before we start I want to point out that over on deviantart.com if you haven't been to this site it is the best place for any kind of artwork whether you're into 3D abstract paintings whatever the all the greatest artists in the world use this site so definitely come check it out make make an account and upload your own work uh but what we've what we've done is created here a group we are called case 9 so it's case 9 case dash 9.deviantart.com and it's a group founded by my friend Cody from Australia and myself and uh, we've basically just started, well we started just over the new year and we're just in the process of uh, getting new members but basically the idea of the, gr uh, of the group is to get exposure for people who want to get their work shown and uh, get them page views so you should definitely come and check it out because I think it's going to be a pretty cool place to be over the next year hopefully going to be producing lots of artwork and art packs so definitely come and um, just put us on your watch list and just keep an eye on it okay that being said what are we going to be doing today we are going to be doing you might have seen it in the background there we're going to be doing this or at least I'm going to be show you how this was created I did this a couple of days ago and this is done from a reference photo which I got from the stock exchange website which is a great place for free photos if you're not going to be using them commercially that is so be careful with that <laughs> and um, yeah let's get into it we're starting in Illustrator and this is the finished kind of finished um, product this is what I started with the photo if you bring the photo into Illustrator uh, double click on the layer make sure it's a template so that you can't move it around because there's nothing more annoying than a kind of rogue layer which is kind of just flipping around all over the place this will lock your layer automatically and dim it and then it's basically a case of using the pen tool uh, make sure you have no stroke and the fill and uh, if you look at the photo here I also have a small version of the photo on the side I just basically got my pen tool made a new layer and uh, if you look at the way the picture is layered we're going to be one to using the white and then possibly go on to the black and uh, we're gonna just leave the orange out because that's what's gonna make the picture interesting when we bring it into Photoshop so I just it's just a case of basically starting obviously I have black selected here but go on and uh, just pen out the or if you want to use the pencil tool brush tool that's fine and just uh, mask out the areas if you get lost just you can always dim the layer as you work on it if you're not sure but um yeah so I started with the white areas which we can see here and then make a new layer went with the black stripes just colored the stripes and finally I did the kind of additional white patches which are above those and finished with the mouth okay so when you've done all that um, using the select tools you see you can select everything on the layer which is always very useful and so I just brought all these into Photoshop on separate layers by copying and pasting now I've set this is the actual uh, final comp I used so I've just gone and broke it down into layer comps so I can show you step by step what I did uh, okay so this is basically after I've pasted everything in I have the photo here dimmed just so that I can use it as a reference point and uh, what what I've gone ahead and done here for the first step is obviously I've got rid of photo I've just dimmed it I just kind of toggle the opacity on and off when I need to use it as a reference once again I have another photo on the side which I use just in case things got in the way so these first shapes are made in a, a variety of ways you can you can go about these any different ways you want you can draw shapes with a pen tool but what I did and I'm going to show you this on another document is using the pen tool the pen tool basically works in two different ways you can have the shape tool which lets you draw shapes yeah 
shape or if you select here you can have the path tool which basically works in the same way well, what happens is when you've made a path you then close the path right click make selection if you want to feather this you can do that but for this kind of it, uh, image it's best not to and now that we have a selection you have a number of options you can use the brush tool make a new layer here if you using the brush tool I have a big soft brush here I also have a Wacom tablet but if you don't and you just use a mouse just drop the opacity down and we were working with oranges and yellows mainly in that other layer you have a couple of options you can just kind of start brushing into the into the selection like so or get your gradient out select your gradient whatever you want to work with you'd probably want to make a custom one and it's the same kind of thing once you're finished with it deselect it make a new layer move on to the next shape so this is how these shapes were selected this kind of coil this is three separate shapes and I've just gone and uh, just with the selection obviously of the shape selected I've just gone and darkened the areas here and uh, these are all made with the gradient tool and the selection tool making paths and just kind of filling them in let's move on to the next stage which is exactly the same thing there's nothing nothing changed between there and there these are all made using the same selection and just uh, brushing them in or using the shape tool and uh, just adding layer styles of gradients whatever you want to work with that's called now this is where it gets interesting this as you can see is starting to come together now and what I've done here is basically you don't want to fill in the areas because otherwise we might as well just be copying the tiger what you want to do is just kind of give a hint of what is happening while still leaving transparency which is what makes this gives this the kind of feel that it has so how is this made this is basically exactly the same as the last layer uh, the last step sorry just make a selection now the difference is that I have only brushed very lightly make selection right click 